Hello all, in our previous video we have seen how to log in using the credentials whatever we have stored inside the database. Okay and also we have written entire logic of login.php and also we have seen whenever user is able to successfully log in then I should be redirected to dashboard.php and inside that this message will be displayed. Okay now in this we are going to see how to design this dashboard.php and how to display the user data and also how to display the group data. Inside dashboard.php I have written this basic boilerplate. Let me just change the title. I will just write here voting system dashboard. I will save this. I will just come here. I will refresh this one. Now from here I am just going to copy this one. I will just paste the value here. Okay, I am just going to show you the output here. 1, 2, 3. Here I will just select voter. I will just click on login. You can see I am redirected to partials folder. Inside that I am having dashboard.php and whatever code I have written that is been mentioned here. Okay, that is welcome. I will just come back. Now if I just give here 1, 2, I will just click on login. Okay, this user is not present inside the database. So here I will be getting invalid credentials. As soon as I click on OK, again I will be redirected to home page. Okay, this is how we are going to write the code. Now we are going to style this dashboard page. Okay, let me just come here. I will just copy using, okay, let me just log in using Sanya. Here I am just going to write Sanya. I will just write the mobile number, password 123 and Sanya is nothing but voter. I will just click on login. Okay, now we are going to style this dashboard.php file. Okay, now first let me just come to index.php and from here I am just going to copy this bootstrap CSS link and inside dashboard.php below this title I am just going to paste that one. Okay, now inside this body, I'm just going to write the class and for this, I'm just going to write here BG dark. I'll save this. As soon as I refresh this one, you can see the body is black and this welcome is not visible because, okay, this is in black color. Okay, by default, each and every text will be in black color. So, as of now, I'm just going to write here text light. Okay, which means that in entire body, this will be applied. Okay, now you can see this welcome text is visible. Below this body, let me just remove this H1. Here I am just going to create one div and for this div I am just going to give the class name as container and also I am just going to give some margin for this margin of 5. From top and bottom I am just giving some margin so here I have just given margin y of 5. Let me just correct the spelling here. I will just write here container. Inside this container first I am just going to create two buttons here. Let me just show you the demo and here let me just log in using one user. 1, 2, 3, voter, login. Inside this here I am having this back button and logout button. Okay, let me just change the background color. Instead of dark here I am just going to give his secondary. Okay, whatever I have given inside my demo project. I am just going to give that one. Okay, now this secondary color is been applied. Now here I am having this back button and logout button. So for that here inside this first I am just going to write here anchor tag. And inside this anchor tag let me just write here home. Whenever I click on this button I should be redirected to home page. And here I'll just write here back. I'll just close button here. I'll save this. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Now whenever I click on this back button, you can see I'm redirected to login.php. Let me just log in again. I'll just write the mobile number. Login. Okay, now here I'm having this back button. Now for this, I'm just going to give some bootstrap classes. Now inside this button, okay, inside button, I have to give the class. For this, let me just write here btn btn dark and also i'm just going to write here text light i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the color is being changed and for this i'm just going to give some padding okay so that my button will be larger padding x of 3 which means that left and right i'm just giving some spacing okay that is nothing but from inside okay now we are done with this back button in the same way i'm just going to create logout button I'll just copy this entire thing and here I'm just going to write that one. Now instead of this, I'll just write here logout. Next I'm just going, okay, instead of this one, I have to write here logout.php. Okay, this file we are going to create later. Let me just write here logout.php. I'll just do control B. Now inside this partials folder itself, I'm just going to create logout.php. I'll just come to dashboard.php. I'll just come here. 
I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having logout button. Once I click on this, you can see I'm redirected to logout.php. Okay, this is how we are going to work. But inside logout.php, uh, once I click on logout button, I should destroy the session so that whatever variables are stored, whatever ID is stored using that user, I have to destroy that one. Okay, basically I'm just going to destroy the session. So here I have just created this logout button. I'm having all these things. Then below this buttons, I'm having H1 and inside this H1, let me just write here voting system. Voting system. I'll save this. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this voting system and the text color is white because inside this body, I have already given this text color. And also I'm just going to give some margin for this. I'll just write here class and inside this, I'm just going to give some margin, margin top and bottom of three. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having some margin for this one. Okay, top and bottom I got some margin. Now below this I'm just going to create one div and inside this div I'm just going to create two sections. Okay, first for this groups and second for this profile. So here below this H1 I'm just going to create one div and for this div I'm just going to give the class as row. And here also I'm just going to give some margin. And inside this row, I'm just going to create two div sections. First will be of column 7 and second will be of column 5. Okay, whatever columns we are creating, that should be sum up to 12. So I'm just going to create two columns here. First, I'm just going to create here div call inside medium screen. I just want to display 7. Then again, in the same way, I'm just going to create here 5. Okay, now this first will be for groups. Let me just write here groups. And this second div container will be for the user profile. Okay, now first let us work inside this group. Then finally we are going to work inside the profile. Now here inside this div, I'm just going to create another div. And for this, I'm just going to give the class as row. Now for this row, I'm just going to create two more divs inside this one. Okay, first for this image, first for this image and the button and then second for this content. So whenever we are writing row, inside that we should be writing column and that column should always sum up to 12. Okay, now this outside, I'm having this row and this is the first div container of that one, which is having seven. Then this is the second div, which is having five. Okay, totally it is summing up to 12. Now inside this seven, I have created this another row. Now inside this row, I have to create column, which should be summing up to 12. So here I'm just going to create one div. I'll just give call medium. I'll just give here four. And second, I'm just going to give here eight. Okay, totally it should sum up to 12. Now inside this column medium, first column, I just have to display the image. So I'm just going to write here image. As of now, I'm not having any demo images. So here I'm just going to write here image. Okay, this should be displayed and dynamically whatever data, whatever image I have stored inside the database, that image we are going to display here. Then inside this one, I have to display the name. Let me just come here. Here I'll be writing strong tag and inside this strong tag, let me just write here strong and here I'm just going to close the strong. Inside this strong tag, first I'm just going to write this group name. Group name. I'll save this. Let me just show you the output here. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here I'm having the image. Then here I'm having group name. Then for this, I'm just going to give the class. Class, I'll just write here text dark. And also I'm just going to write here H5, which means that Whatever stylings we are having inside H5 heading, that will be applied to this group name. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the text color has been changed to black color and also the H5 heading styling has been applied. Now below that, I just have to display the words. So again, I'm just going to copy this. I'll just remove this one and here I'll just write words. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see words are coming in the same line, but I want in the next line. Let me just show you the demo. You can see here I'm having group name. Then below this, I'm having this words. So for that, here I'm just going to add some break. And also here I'm just going to add one break. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, let me just refresh my project. Now you can see here I'm having group name and here I'm having this words. This one, okay, group name, words. Below this, I'm having this border. So let us just create that one. Okay, now here I'm having this row inside this I'm having this two diff containers inside this first I'm having the image inside the second I'm having this group name and words. Okay, this is the diff container and this is the diff container and this is the diff container of the row and below this I'm just going to add one HR. Okay, horizontal rule. I'll come here. 
okay you can see here here i am having this horizontal rule for that one again i'll refresh this you can see here i am having this horizontal rule again whenever it is going to execute each and every time i'll be getting this horizontal rule now let's work on the user profile now here inside this here i am having this user profile then below this first i just need the image i'm just going to write here image okay let me just write let me just write here image okay it's not working i'll just come on top and from here i'm just going to copy this image tag i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste and instead of this let me just write here user image let me just change the spelling here okay let me just write here group image i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here for user image i'm having here and for group image i'm having here okay this images are not displayed because i have not given any path for the image but later on we are just going to access the image from the database and we are going to display that image i'll just come on top i'll just copy this strong tag and here i'm just going to paste that one and from here i'll just remove this and instead of this let me just write here name then below this i'm just going to copy this one and here i'll just change it to mobile then next i'm just going to change it to status here okay because i just want to print the status so i'll just write here status okay whether the user is voted or not so that status should be printed here so i'm just writing that one now if i refresh this i'll be having this output name mobile and status i'm just going to add one more br for each of them so that i'll be having more spacing i'll just refresh this one okay now you can see here i'm having some more spacing Okay, this is how we are going to display the user data and group data. Okay, all the groups will be coming on the left side, right, and user profile will be displayed on right side. Okay, we are going to see how to display the data from the database, and also we are going to display the status whether the user is voted or not. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.